Okay, in number one, okay, what would the slope of the resulting line be if the relationship between outside temperature and the amount of home heating fuel is represented by a graph? Um, slope formula is change of y over change of x. So if we just pick two points, I'll use the first two. If you write down the coordinates of those two points, it would be negative 1, 15, and negative 2, 19. But the slope is that fraction. So y2 minus y1 would be 19 minus 15 over negative 2 minus negative 1. And subtracting a negative turns positive. So you end up with 4 over negative 1, which is negative 4. So the correct answer is D. Number two, if a line is horizontal, so the horizon goes left to right, the slope is 0. B. Which one of the following lines has a slope of negative 1 half? So remember, a slope of negative 1 half, we move that negative up, so it's really negative 1 over 2, which because of the negative 1, it's going to go down 1, right 2. So let's check the slope. Let's move it down so we can all see. Well, we can get rid of B and C because those lines have a positive slope, so if we just check the two, let's look at this point and this point. This is down one, right two. So that looks good. Where this one, look at that point and that point, is down two over one. So down one over two, A is the correct answer. Which of the following statements best describes the effect on the graph of now this f of x, and I didn't catch that, we'll get to that notation with functions, it should be y equals, if the slope is changed to negative 5. So we go from y equals 3x minus 7 to y equals negative 5x minus 7. I realize the slope is smaller, it's changed from the 3 to a negative 5. The rate of change though would be greater. Okay, and none of the answers state that in terms of rate of change, so the correct answer would be C. So the slope decreases, but the rate of change increases, okay, as we would have a steeper slope. The negative just indicates direction. Number five. The line 3x minus 2y equals 12 has, well, in order to see the slope in y-intercept, we have to solve for y. So 3x minus 2y equals 12. So the first step would be to subtract 3x. We have negative 2 times y equals 12 minus 3x, but I'm going to write it in terms of uh, y equals mx plus b. Then divide everything by negative 2. We end up with y equals negative over negative is positive. So we have 3 halves x. 12 divided by a negative 2 is a negative 6. So the answer, slope of 3 halves and y intercept of negative 6, is d. What is the y intercept? We would need to see it put in y equals mx plus b form. Or anywhere on the y axis x equals 0. So I'm going to solve it algebraically. So 5 times 0 would be gone. So we end up with 4y equals 40. Divide by 4 and y equals 10. So this is b. The last two, 7 says the lines 2x minus 3y equals negative 15 and 3x plus ky equals 12. They have the same intercept, so what is the value of k? So we have to take each of the lines um, and put them in y equals mx plus b form. I think that's going to be easiest. So if I solve this one for y, there's not much space. It's negative 3 times y equals negative 2x minus 15. 
divide by negative 3, we end up with y equals 2 thirds x plus 5. So this intercept is 5. So solving this equation for y, um, I'm going to rewrite it over here. 3x plus ky equals 12. Subtract 3x. We end up with k times y equals negative 3x plus 12. Divide by k and y equals negative 3 over k x plus 12 over k. Now in this question, this needs to equal this. So this one's tricky. So if 12 over k is supposed to equal 5, I'll put this over 1 cross multiply. Um, we end up with k times 5 5k, 1 times 12 is 12, divide by 5, and k is 12 fifths, which is c. That one was hard. So uh, nice job if you did get that. That was a tricky one. So let's look at the last question. I'm going to leave it so we can't see parts a and b, um, but we can at least see the question. It says two video rental clubs offer two different rental fee plans. Club A charges $16 for membership. So this is Club A, that's why we see a Y intercept of 16. And then it charges $2 for each video rented. So for the first video, you can see it went up from a 16 to an 18, so it went up two. Club B is a membership uh, fee of six and $6 for each video. A says draw a line to represent the cost of renting videos for B. So let me grab a different color. This $6 membership fee is going to be here. And $6 for each rented video means it's going to go up 6 per 1 video. So this is change of Y over change of X or rise to run. So it has to go up 6. So 6 plus 6 is 12 for that first video. Go up 6 again. Uh, 12 plus 6 is 18. Go over to the second video. 18 plus 6 is 24 for that third video. And we can do one more. 24 plus 6 is 30 for that fourth. Let's keep going. 36 for the fifth. And let's draw a line. Okay, so there's part A, so I'm going to label that Club B. And then part B says, for what number of video rentals is it less expensive to belong to Club A? So I'm going to highlight that. Less expensive for Club A means the total cost is below, right? So that's that part of the line. So for what number of video rentals is it less expensive? Um, so we just have to have an example. So I'm going to say the first time it happens is right here at that point, which is for three. It could be four, right? It could be five. But I'm going to put as an answer for part B, an example would be for three videos. And explain, it'd be because the line for club A is below the line for club B.